Chris Hemsworth looks relaxed strolling barefoot in Byron Bay while wearing a $75,000 Rolex watch after wrapping filming on Mad Max Furiosa. Now, the crazy thing is, like, about this, right, is, like, in terms of, like, ratios of, like, spending money, this is, like, the equivalent of, like, a normal middle-class person buying, like, a $1 cookie. It's basically, like, nothing, right, to him. But at the same time, like, I just never really understood the appeal of spending a lot of money on a watch that you basically have to figure out the time on instead of just looking at, like, a digital watch and be like, oh, okay, it's 2.45 p.m. or whatever. So Chris Hemsworth was spending a day strolling through his hometown of Byron Bay while barefoot on Friday. The Marvel action star, 39, sported a laid-back casual look in a loose black t-shirt and matching shorts. The Father 3 added a touch of sophistication to his appearance with a $75,000 Rolex, gold wristwatch, and designer sunglasses. At one point, Chris scratched his stomach wall, which briefly exposed his jaw-dropping abs. I gotta say, some of the people who like write these like articles are just so weird. His rarely seen forearm tattoo of the letters C-E-I-T-S was also visible at one point as the Melbourne actor raised his iPhone to his ear. The letters stand for Chris, his wife Elsa, and their children India, Tristan, and Sasha. Hey, that's actually a pretty cool tattoo then. Bum, 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 bum. He was engrossed in a deep conversation on his phone and had focused had a focused expression on his face. Chris looked relieved to be spending some time to himself after wrapping up four months of hard work filming Mad Max Furiosa. The sighting comes after Chris plans to build a second home on a massive 35 hectare site in Byron Bay were approved. He and wife Elsa Patake were given the green light in August to build a celebrity guest house next to their own $30 million mansion. Oh my god. Like, this is the thing, right? If you had the money, go ahead, right? But at the same time, it's like, what are you even going to be doing with a $30 million mansion? Like, can you even utilize a $30 million mansion to its fullest capabilities, right? Like, there's people who have just a somewhat big house and probably never even enter one of the rooms. Like, it's just crazy. Like, what's the point of spending that much for a house? So Chris bought the land for $4.25 million in 2019 and proposed $4.4 million worth of works, bringing the finished property to $8.6 million, reports the Daily Telegraph. And detailed plans show the home will have two dwellings with a total of seven bedrooms. The primary mini-mansion will include five bedrooms, while the second home will have two, each with its own in-suite bathroom. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so let's see some of these comments. Chris tries to portray himself as a humble, barefoot, down-to-earth guy. The truth is he wears a $75,000 watch, lives in a $30 million mansion, and uses private jets as a taxi service. See, here's the thing, right? Like, the problem when you get to a certain level of income to the point where, like, the money basically doesn't mean anything to you at all you start to distance yourself from the everyday normal human being, right? The, like, middle class and below. Because with the type of money that you have, it is impossible to really feel the same way that someone in the middle class or less are feeling. Like, it's, you cannot... You don't have the capability of basically experiencing what they experience, right? Even if you perhaps lived that way back when you were younger, the problem is you get so accustomed to your now that 
because in the present time that and he's been this way for a while now that he's made so much money that no matter how he like goes about in life he's always going to basically view the world in a very skewed way whether it be through like politics through social issues through whatever because he's not on the same level as a normal human being right like Normal people can't just drop 75 grand on a watch and not care about it. Normal people can't live in a $30 million mansion and basically not care about it, right? Normal people can't fly on private jets and not care about it. Like, he is in a level of income that very few people will ever actually experience. And it gets... It basically really corrupts the mind. Like, no matter how good you are, no matter how good of a heart you might have, it's going to corrupt you in some way. Period. Right? Who holds their mobile phone with both hands, except one trying to get his watch in the photos for the photographer to put in papers? (laughs) This is a free advert sent in by his PR. Like, this is the thing. I would not be surprised if this fiasco of an article was quite literally <laughs> like his like um, manager or something or him basically just like getting paid for like a Rolex sponsorship. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised. Let's see. Let's do some of the best rated comments. What is it with Australians and walking barefoot? I've never seen a barefoot Aussie ever unless we're at the beach. I'm Aussie, and I've never walked around public spaces barefoot in my life. The vast majority of Aussies do wear shoes. The Hemsworths are cashed-up bogans. Byron Bay is one of the lamest, most pretentious places I've ever been. It's full of people going around in their bare feet dressed like hippies with zero ambition and who wouldn't work to warm themselves. Interesting. Love this man and his family. He still seems grounded, probably because he still walks strong barefoot and lives in his hometown. Good on you, Chris. The thing is, like, (laughs) the problem with Chris's situation, right, is that he lives a life that nearly no one else can really live. Period. No one is looking at the watch. Well, basically all of us are now looking at the watch because of this article. Do this family not own any shoes? He's a very good looking man, a good action actor, and seems a caring dad and husband. Wish him and his... Well, I do wish him well. I do wish his family well. I just think it's odd for like an article to portray him like he's a down-to-earth guy when the reality is no matter how much money you got like i mean like no matter your situation no matter like the way that the media try to portray you as there is a point where a certain amount of money changes you no matter what overrated overpaid actor Not a jewelry fan to begin with, but wearing a watch that much would give me anxiety. LOL. I would have to agree, right? I would be pretty worried if I wore, like, a $75,000 watch just walking around. Now, that being the case, he could probably get away with that again because of his situation, right? He lives in an area that is probably very, very wealthy, And so the likelihood of there being really any petty crimes of, like, burglary, robbing, that kind of stuff, is probably never going to happen, right? So he probably feels extremely safe knowing that basically no one in that area that he's living in is going to commit a crime because he is super uber wealthy. Just something to think about. 